Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the upcoming B-Link Expand X. Basically, what this is, is a USB Type-C to HDMI dock for your Android device to kind of turn it into a desktop PC. Now, when I initially saw this, I got super excited because I thought this would work with every phone. I figured it would be using something like Mirror Link to enable it on any device, but unfortunately, your device's USB Type-C port will have to support DP Alt Mode, or basically HDMI over USB Type-C. And there are a lot of higher-end devices out there that do support DP Alt Mode over USB Type-C, like the Samsung Galaxy S Line. Personally, I'm a big fan of Samsung DeX, which comes pre-installed on the S Line. I'm going to be using a Galaxy S21 in this video. But Huawei does support it. They also have their own little desktop operating system built in. I think some of the higher-end Motorola phones do, LG, and a lot of the new gaming phones do support DP Alt Mode over USB Type-C. Now, when it comes to the B-Link Expand X, it does have a few extra tricks up its sleeve, and we're going to take a look at those in a second. But first, I wanted to go over the unit itself. It's fully constructed of aluminum. It's got some really nice hinges on it. There's two pivot points here, and it feels very high quality. Taking a look at the left-hand side, we have a full-size HDMI output and two full-size USB 2.0 A ports. Over here on the right-hand side, we have two USB Type-C ports. One is specifically for charging. The other one will connect to your device to carry that display signal over HDMI. And we also have a micro USB port, which I kind of wish they would have just used USB Type-C here. But this actually allows you to plug it into your PC, so if you have a dual monitor set up, you can press the switch button on the top and switch out any of the accessories that are plugged into the USB Type-C ports on the Expand X. And we will take a look at this because I thought it was a cool little concept. And it definitely comes in handy, especially if you just want to use a single game controller or keyboard between your two devices. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this up for the first time. This is basic setup. We have the dock here. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my HDMI cable from my monitor. This can also be a TV, basically anything that supports HDMI. Now I'm going to grab the dual-sided USB Type-C cable and plug one end into the dock and the other end into my Samsung Galaxy S21. I'm going to give it a few seconds. And this way it should be mirroring my screen just like it looks on the phone itself. There we go. Now there are some phones out there that only kind of mirror the screen like you're seeing here. And if you start a game, it'll go landscape mode. It'll also turn landscape on the big monitor in the background. But since I'm using a Galaxy S phone, I'm going to turn on DeX mode. And you can actually enable this to come on automatically when it detects HDMI, but I have that turned off. And if you're not familiar with DeX mode, basically it's an Android desktop operating system built into the Samsung Galaxy S phones from the S8 on up. Even the Note series has them. And right here I can use the phone itself as a touchpad, but I find this really cumbersome. So since we have some USB ports, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my wireless keyboard and mouse. And since we're in DeX mode, it's only going to work in DeX mode right now, but if I just wanted to use it kind of mirroring Android, I could also use the mouse and keyboard. But now, this way, I can use this like a desktop operating system. Windows, Linux, OS X. We have multiple windows, we can resize them, and it does work really well. I've done several videos on DeX. And just to show you here, I'm going to exit DeX, and the keyboard and mouse can still be used with one UI. Or if you're running like a vanilla version of Android and your phone supports HDMI out, you'll be good to go. And right now, this is just basic usage. I could also plug in a charger to this dock here, and it'll automatically charge my phone while I'm using it just like this. So next on the list, I wanted to test out the Red Magic 6. This is an awesome little gaming phone here. It does support display over USB Type-C. But unfortunately, with this phone here, we don't have any kind of desktop interface. We're going to be stuck with Android here. I mean, you could install a third-party launcher if you want to. But when it comes to gaming, this will work out pretty well. I can use the touchscreen on the phone, or I could connect a Bluetooth controller to the device itself. But Bluetooth does introduce a little bit of latency. So what I like to do in this situation, since I'm going to be close to my desk anyway, is just plug in a wired controller. And this way, I'm connected directly to the device, and there's going to be no latency whatsoever. I won't have any kind of input lag with this controller. And this definitely comes in handy with emulators and first-person shooters like Call of Duty Mobile. So far, I've showed you the basic setup. Now I kind of want to move over to a more advanced configuration with dual monitors. So this is more of an advanced use case scenario with the Expand X. 
Over on the left hand side I have my Windows 10 PC. This is actually my little Lenovo work machine. It's plugged into the bigger monitor on the left and uh, I got my keyboard and mouse plugged into that right now. Over on the right hand side I have my Galaxy S21 running DeX on the smaller monitor and I'm going to be using my PC right now. I wanted to get some work done but in this case it's actually just watching some YouTube videos. So I'm going to go ahead and get it loaded up here. And since I have my mouse plugged into the PC, I can't use it over here just yet on my Samsung Galaxy. I could always just enable this little touchpad that uh, Samsung does provide with DeX and use my mouse like that. But the Expand X does fix all this. If I unplug my keyboard and mouse from my PC and plug it into the Expand X, And I also plug in that micro USB cable to the back of my PC and then the other end into the Expand X itself. I can now have access to the USB ports on the Expand X from my PC and the mobile device I have plugged in. So I've got the USB port set up to work on my PC side, but if I want to move over to my device, I just press the button on the Expand X and it swaps those USBs back to the mobile device. So now I'm using that same mouse and keyboard over on my phone. And this will work with a ton of different USB devices, even hard drives, but keep in mind on the PC side, your transfer speeds will suffer because we're plugged in with micro USB, which is only USB 2.0. But this is really great for input devices like mice, keyboards, and game pads. Because with the press of a button, we can share those devices between our mobile device over on the right hand side and our PC on the left hand side. And this whole setup would actually work with a single display as long as that display has two HDMI inputs, one for your PC, one for your mobile device, and you can switch those inputs. So let's say HDMI 1 is my PC, HDMI 2 is my Android device. And this also works with the iPad Pros that support HDMI over USB Type-C. So yeah, I think it's a nifty little device. I'll personally get a lot of use out of it because I do a lot with these Android devices that support HDMI over USB Type-C. And it's actually not that expensive. They're asking $39.99 for it. But if you're not up for spending 40 bucks, you can always kind of build your own. We won't have that USB swap, but I got a cheap stand from Amazon. I think it was like six bucks and this USB Type-C to HDMI adapter, which actually has USB 3.0, SD card readers and gigabit ethernet. But this is what I've been using so far and it's worked out just fine. I think the adapter itself was around 24 to 25 bucks. So I do have less into this setup than I would with the Expand X, but I really do like the Expand X. I mean, the build quality is great. It's super portable. And if you use a dual monitor setup like you saw in this video, I personally think it does make it a lot cleaner and easier because I don't have to have two keyboards or I don't have to swap the keyboard I'm using on my PC over to my phone. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. I thought this was a cool little product, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a video on it. If you're interested in picking something like this up, I will leave links in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.